Vicks, the makers of Vicks Vatronol Nose Drops, presents Dangerously Yours, starring Victor Jory in The Firebrand. You know, more and more millions of people are using Vicks Vatronol Nose Drops to relieve distress of head colds, benefit by their experience. And now, Dangerously Yours. I am adventure. In my name, men have traversed the highways, the byways, the skyways of the world. I am the fire that burns in the heart of youth, that makes men dream and dare and conquer. I am dangerously yours. Come with me today to the Italy of the 16th century, a day when the smile or the frown of a duke would mean life or death, when ladies were the fragile, lovely prizes of the brave and daring. And when the bravest and most daring man in Florence was Benvenuto Cellini, the firebrand. Now, see here, Benvenuto Cellini. This is the sixth time you've been brought before me for roistering, and I'm tired of it. You may be one of the best silversmiths in the world. Uh, You may even be, as you say, the best. But you are also a rascal, a rogue, and an unmitigated liar. Your Excellency, you wound me deeply with your words. I'll wound you with more than words if you don't behave yourself. But you don't understand. I'm constantly being persecuted by my enemies. Oh, now, Cellini, everyone in Florence can't be your enemy. If they are, then I would do well to have you executed immediately. It's not everyone in Florence. It's Octaviano and his band of cutthroats. Octaviano is one of my trusted friends, even if he did try to kill me three years ago. And a far better citizen of Florence than you. Then let Octaviano finish the medal I've been making for you to commemorate your greatness for all time to come. Hmm? A medal? Uh, greatness. Well, uh, I'm uh, going to spare you this time, Cellini. But one more scrape... One more scrape of any nature, and I'm going to have you beheaded. Uh, You may go now. I'm seriously displeased with you, and I do not wish to look upon your face any longer. Uh, Take it out of my sight quickly before I change my mind and deal severely with you. Oh, yes, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your kindness is the light of Florence. Your wisdom is the pride of Florence. Florence loves you, and I love you. Oh, get out. Get out. Uh, By the way, Cellini, that uh, little dancer at the Café d'Italia... You shall have her address tonight. Address? Who's address? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, th- thank you, Cellini. Uh, mind you, not a word to anyone. Not a word. Good day, Your Excellency. Your most gracious Excellency. Uh, mind you, watch your step. Watch your step. Well, Cellini, how was your interview with the Duke? Better than you hoped, Ottaviano. He pardoned me. You'd not be in trouble so often, Cellini, if you'd serve my interests instead of your own and the Duke's. The Duke is my master. And you are a traitor, a liar, a thief, a cheat, a scoundrel. Good day, Ottaviano. If you don't mind, I need a little fresh air. Uh. Signor Cellini. Signor Cellini. Yes? Her Excellency, the Duchess requests that you come to her apartments before you leave. The Duchess? Yes, sir. Oh, well, here's a piece of gold for you. Tell the Duchess you are not able to catch me. Uh, yes, Signor Cellini. But I think you're crazy. <laughs> Where have you been? Where are you going in such a hurry? Greetings, Pierre. I've been having my weekly scolding from the Duke, and I'm going to see the most beautiful girl in the world. I have heard that the Duke is out of patience with you. Take heed, Benvenuto. Don't be reckless. Once your head is cut off, there will be no putting it back. I will be careful. Pierre, have you ever seen such a day in Florence? Oh, look at that beautiful blue sky, at that wonderful sunshine, at those enchanting beggars. Throw them a coin, Pierre. Here. Grazie, grazie. What on earth has gotten into you? For the first time in his life, Benvenuto Cellini, the greatest silversmith in the world, the most exciting lover, the most brilliant inventor and artist, Benvenuto the handsome, the reckless, the magnificent, is in love. One of the things I admire about you is your modesty. Modesty? What is that? You are right to ask. No, that Angela. Oh, Pierre, that Angela is truly from heaven. Do you know I love her so much that I'm afraid to take her in my arms? I've not even kissed her. 
but I'm going to marry her. Marry? That I should live to hear such a word on your lips. I'm going to marry her. You may have some trouble accomplishing that. I understand Mafio has a great liking for the same lady. And Mafio is no mean swordsman. Mafio? That tool of Ottaviano? Has he dared to look at my Angela? Well, you don't own the girl, you know, just because she's your model. If Mafio so much as dares to speak to her again, I'll cut him into little pieces and feed him to the sharks. Will you now? Well, that's very interesting, Cellini. Good afternoon, Mafio. It doesn't surprise me in the least that you sneak up behind people and listen to conversations that are none of your affair. But obviously this one is my affair. Just what makes you think you can say what ladies I am to see and what ladies I am not to see? I'm not interested in what ladies you see, Mafio, so long as you stay away from Angela. Well, now, I like Angela, and I don't choose to stay away from her. After all, she's a nobody. She's nobody? I'll kill you for that. Yeah. You're welcome to try, Cellini. I'd just as soon see you dead as not. Then there will be no obstacles between Angela and me. Do not fight him, Benvenuto. Remember the Duke. Why do you hesitate, Benvenuto? Are you afraid to fight me? Afraid? <laughs> do you think so? You do not fence as well as you talk, my friend. You'll see how well I fence, Cellini. Particularly when I fight for a woman. Ah! How do you like the taste of blood, Matthew? I'll have your life before I'm done with you. And then I'll have the lovely Angela. You like? Ah! <laughs> there, my friend. How do you like that? <sighs> He's done for. Come quickly. We've got to get out of here. The Duke is sure to be after you any minute. You're right. Say a prayer for me, will you, Pierre? You're on much better footing with heaven than I. <laughs> Not with the angels, Cellini. Not with the angels. Angela. Oh, my Angela. I love you. Don't you think you could love me at all? I think you're a splendid artist. And it's a great honor to be your model. Would you never think of me except with a chisel or a paintbrush in my hand? I'm a man as well as an artist. Oh, Angela, if you will but love me, I will take your hands and fill them with stars, and I will take your heart and fill it with fire. Angela, never in my life have I asked a woman to marry me. But I ask you. I don't know. I don't know, Benvenuto. You see, I've been waiting for a very special man. What kind of man? I'm the most romantic man in Florence. Ooh, first of all, he must be someone who'll be constant and never look at another woman. Such a man never lived. Angela, do you love me? What is love, Benvenuto? Tell me what love is, and I'll try to tell you if I love you. Why, love, love is, love is lightning and thunder and music and excitement. Love is a flame in the dark. Love is a challenge that sends the blood surging through you and puts the steadiest heart off beat. Love is you, Angela. Oh, Benvenuto. You're so much older and so much wiser than I. But I know far more of love than you. All those things are the beginnings of love, but they're not love. No? Then what is love, my Angela? If I told you, you'd laugh because you wouldn't understand. But perhaps one day you'll know more about love. And when you do, perhaps that day I'll marry you. In the name of all the saints, was there ever a man so plagued by a woman? Angela, listen to me and try to understand. To me, you are the mystery man must live on beyond bread, the wonder and glory of the world. I'm mad about your hair. I'm enraptured with your eyes. And I'm jealous that God and not I created you. Benvenuto, it's no use. Do not interrupt me when I'm speaking so well. Oh, pardon me. You are the bell which awakens me and the bell which says, rest. I love you like an angel. I love you like a man. And I will always love you. Open the door in the name of the Duke. Open the door. That's Italiano's voice and the Duke is with him. Benvenuto, are you in trouble again? Yes, yes, I killed Mafio this morning. You must try to escape. I'll not run like a coward. Cellini? Come in. Welcome, Your Excellency. My poor house is honored by your presence. Uh, 
Come in, Ottaviano. Cellini, this time you have angered me beyond all endurance. I fear you've been listening to my enemies, Your Excellency. Your crimes are your enemies. My lord, you are angry with me unjustly. He does not hesitate to rebuke even you, Your Excellency. You'd like to see me dead, wouldn't you, Ottaviano? I'll wager my next fee that you set Matthew on me with the full intent that we should kill him one another. My lord, do not listen to this outrageous fellow. Cellini, Ottaviano tells me that this morning, after giving me your word to behave yourself, you spilled more blood in the street streets of Florence. Well, but in self-defense, my lord, in self-defense, Matthew attacked me. He attacked me with a whole regiment at his heels. Your murders are notorious, Cellini. Ottaviano, you would not dare to say that except in the presence of my lord. Am I to take that as proof of your peaceful nature, Cellini? I cannot be peaceful when I'm insulted. I... I try to pattern myself too much after your excellency. After me? Well, <laughs> I must admit that was neatly said. Does my lord forget this morning's murder? 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 No, no, I do not forget this morning's murder. Uh, Cellini, I do not believe you. And no matter what proof you have, I will not believe you. You have caused much grief and bloodshed in Florence. Therefore, in full justice, I sentence oh, you... Oh, please, my lord, do not sentence him to death. Well, 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 uh, who are you? Come here to me, my child. Why would you have me spare this assassin? Because, because... Well, uh, speak up, speak up. Because I love him, Your Excellency. Angela. You love this rascal, this, this scoundrel, this rogue who uh, sheds blood as though it were water and steals women's hearts as if they were pennies? You love him? I've struggled very hard against it, Your Excellency. But I cannot help myself. I do love him with my whole heart. Well, uh, loving Cellini seems to be a state of mind that every girl in Florence goes through at one age or another. Uh, you're certain you're in love with him? Yes, my lord. You know, I, I've taken quite a fancy to you. I'm going to help you get over this fellow. Uh, how would you like to come with me to my summer palace? Tell him no, Angela. No, Your Excellency. If you will come with me, I will spare his life. But if you insist on staying with him, I will most surely hang him. <laughs> well, uh, what do you say to that? What? That I will go, of course, my lord. Oh, Angela, don't do this. Angela, I can't lose you now. My lord, what do you think the Duchess is going to say to this? The Duchess? Oh, uh, du uh, dear me, look here. Uh, one word to the Duchess and you die. You're a very lucky fellow to be alive at all. Come, my dear. Oh, uh, never mind the address of that dancer, Benvenuto. I I'm not interested after all. I swear I'd like uh, to... Tut, tut, Benvenuto. Remember, I am your excellency. Yes, uh, Cellini, uh, I order you to remain in your house and under no circumstances to leave it without my permission. Come, everybody. Come. She's gone, Pierre. She's gone, and the stars have gone out, and the moon has gone out. And Florence is a wilderness. You'll get over it. And meanwhile, I have a message for you from the Duchess. The Duchess? A devil take the Duchess. The Duchess, my friend, wants to know if you will come to the Summer Palace for a few weeks. Summer Palace? She says she will tell the Duke that you are there to devise a uh, decoration for the fountain. The Summer Palace? The, the, the summer palace? Yes. Shall I still tell the Duchess to go to the devil? Tell the Duchess to go to the devil? How could you think of such a thing? You'll never live to be old, my friend. Maybe not, Pierre. Maybe not. But I'll have twice as much fun out of life as those who do. I don't care whether I live to be old or not, so long as I can be young with Angela. Come, I'm going to the summer palace tonight. Even, even if I die tomorrow morning. In just a moment, we'll bring you the second act of The Firebrand. The old saying, a stitch in time saves nine, is certainly true in connection with head colds at this time of the year. It's wise to act quickly when you feel an early fall head cold coming on, wise to relieve those sniffles and sneezes as quickly as you can, because neglected head colds can cause a great deal of needless suffering. Now, here's a good tip. 
you may easily and quickly relieve the distress of head colds with Vicks Vatronol. Just put a few drops in each, each nostril and Vatronol goes to work right where trouble is. And Vatronol does more than relieve the sneezy irritation and reduce nasal stuffiness. It also actually helps prevent many colds from developing if used in time. That's why thousands of people use double-duty Vatronol. Now, try Vatronol yourself, friends. You'll like the way it works. Just follow the directions in the folder. Vicks Vatronol, the double-duty nose drops. And now, the second act of Dangerously Yours, starring Victor Jory in The Firebrand. <laughs> I'll go away. Uh, go away, Ottaviano. I, I'm very busy uh, uh, talking to Angela. I came here to the Summer Palace for a little rest and quiet. But I have news of the gravest importance. We'll wait until tomorrow. Cellini has escaped. Then order the soldiers to catch him and leave me alone. But, Your Excellency, he plots against your life. He will surely kill you because you've stolen Angela. Oh, what a tiresome fellow. What a bore. Well, uh, this is the last straw. The camel's back is broken. We order that Cellini be hanged directly he is caught, and we give the matter into your hands for execution. Now go away. Yes, Your Excellency. Uh, oh, uh, one more thing. The Duchess has arrived. My wife? Mm. Here? In the Summer Palace? Yes, Your Excellency. Sometimes I wish I were dead, and this is one of them. <laughs> what was that? Come on! It looks like Palverino. The man's badly wounded. Palverino! Palverino! I'm wounded unto death, I fear. Who attacked you? Who has done such a monstrous thing? Cellini. Cellini. Ah, Cellini. By my troth, that man shall die for this. They've probably found Paul Verena's body by now. If there was ever hope for me, it's long since vanished. You should not have killed him, Pierre. And I should never have come to the Summer Palace. But he jumped on your back. If I had not thrown my dagger when I did, he, he would have plunged his own into you. Ah. Better a dead Pulverino than a dead Cellini. Ah, me. I don't know why I attract so much trouble. I'm always in trouble. Sometimes I wish I were dead. Maybe I should let the Duke catch me. He can only kill me once. And then I won't need to worry anymore. Listen, isn't that Angela? It... it is. It is Angela. Oh, how many times I've heard that voice in my dreams. She's moving away. I must talk to her, Pierre. I must speak to my adored one. I'll carry her away from the Duke or die in the attempt. Oh, Cellini, would you really carry me away from the Duke? The Duchess. Uh, good, good afternoon, my most gracious lady. I have been waiting for you, Benvenuto. I wondered if you would come. And how could I stay away? I came through rivers of blood. Paul Verena tried to keep me from your side, and I had to kill him. You shall be pardoned, Benvenuto. If you make your request in a sweet enough manner, come with me. Uh, 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 Pierre. Oh, surely Pierre need not come. Let us be alone together. Just you and I, Benvenuto. Yes, your grace. You sound so strange. Are you ill or, or in pain? I am in pain, your grace, by your hand. You'll never know what you're doing to my heart. You'll never know what you have done to mine. Come, Benvenuto, come. Your Grace, give me but one moment to speak to Pierre, and I shall be at your side. I'll await you. Do not keep me waiting long. I shall not. Kill me, Pierre. Take your dagger and plunge it into my heart. I can stand no more of this. Is this Cellini talking? Benvenuto Cellini, who snaps his fingers at fate and takes what he wants from life? Assuredly, it is not. Go find the girl. Carry her off. If you only have a few more hours to live, live recklessly and beautifully the way you've always lived. Hmm? You're Cellini, the most handsome of lovers, the most skilled of silversmiths, the most glorious man in Florence. Go on, go on, Pia. You're convincing. You're a, you're a legend, a symbol of gallantry and romance that will live forever. Well. You are the man that every woman dreams about and every man envies. You're the charm of the moonlight, the sparkle of wine, the dash of the conqueror. You're magnificent. You are right. I am magnificent. I will go find Angela. I'll see you later, Pierre. What a liar I am. Angela. 
Angelo. Oh, my Angelo. Benvenuto, I wondered if you'd come for me. Where's the Duke? Waiting for me. The Duchess is waiting for me. I told her I had to speak to Pierre. Oh, Angela. Yes, Benvenuto. Oh, why don't you say something? Where are all the words that used to come so magnificently to your tongue? It's funny, but I... I can't think of them. All I can think is that you're beautiful. And I'd like to spend the rest of my life at your feet. Whether it's 60 years or 60 hours or 60 minutes. Angela, for the first time in my life, I wish my name were not Ben Benito Cellini. I wish I had a more humble name and a humble house to take you to. I wish I could say, if God continues to smile on me, I'll have 60 years and they're yours if you'll have me. Oh, Angela, you make me want to be so much better than I am. I love you very much. So very much. Once you asked me what love was, and I wouldn't tell you for fear you'd laugh. But what I would have said is that love is growing old together, growing old loving the same things, and loving each other. Come back to Florence with me and marry me tonight. It may not be for 60 years, Angela. It may only be for 60 hours, perhaps less. I'll marry you whether it's for a few hours or 60 years. Oh, oh, come, let us hurry. Let us hurry home, my Angela. Open in the name of the Duke. Open in the name of His Excellency, the Duke of Florence. Benvenuto. Benvenuto, my darling, he's here. He's here and we've not had 60 hours. Come, we'll let him in. Well, there you are, Angela. And uh, and here you are, Cellini, you scoundrel. You told me to stay here in my own house, Your Excellency. Did you obey me? Well, no. I had a mission that took me briefly to the Summer Palace. Was that mission to steal Angela and kill Palverino? Yes, Your Excellency. Cellini, I've come here to see that you are executed, and nothing is going to change my mind this time. I've been looking forward to it all morning. Take him away. Farewell, Angela. No, wait. My Lord, you've not heard him tell why he killed Palverino. He did it to save you. Save me? Why, bless my soul, bless my soul. Uh, how could that possibly be uh, possible? I sent a message to Cellini to come and save you. I heard of Taviano and Palverino plotting. Ottaviano ordered Palverini to kill you. That's a lie. Be quiet, Ottaviano. Your opinion does not count. What else did he say? I fear to tell you, my lord. Oh, speak up, my child. Speak up. Well, if you must know, Ottaviano said you were a long-eared donkey. What? Why, I'll hang him in Cellini's place. A, a, a long-eared donkey? I don't have long ears at all. That's a lie. The girl's in love with Cellini. She's just trying to save his life. Well, I hope it's a lie. Donkey, I I was considered the bright boy of the family. I say, let's string Cellini up and have an end of him. It seems to me you're overly anxious to have Cellini hanged, Ottaviano. Cellini, when you came to the palace, why didn't you ask for me? I wanted to find you myself. And when Paul Brino leapt on me in the dock and I had to kill him, I... I lost my head and ran away. Oh, don't you see, Your Excellency? When Ottaviano found that Cellini had fled, he was afraid he'd gotten wind of the plot and was going to warn you. Uh, it all sounds very flimsy to me. Uh, on the other hand, three years ago, Ottaviano, you did plot against my life. But you forgave me and it did not happen again. My lord, I am a Medici, and I claim the right of protection from further insults. My honor is at stake. You must hang Cellini or you must hang me. In the name of our family, I demand... Which of us will you hang? That's uh, quite a problem, isn't it? Um, Ottaviano, I don't like your face. I, I never have since the time you tried to kill me three years ago. Oh. You're no good as a silversmith, and you're not even amusing. I think I will hang you instead of Cellini. You tried to kill me before, and I think you may have been at it again. I throw myself on your mercy, my lord. Away with you, men. Take him away. Goodbye, Ottaviano. Spare me, my lord. Take him away. And I did say it. You are a long-eared donkey. Put him in a rat-infested cell, and, and don't be particular about his meals. Give him vinegar to drink. I never did like that, man. Was all that true, my dear? 
You can tell me. I will not kill your Cellini. It was all true. I give you my word. Why didn't you tell me before? Why didn't you tell me? (laughs) I was saving it until I should need it. I thought maybe at the right moment I might be able to exchange it. But for 60 years of a man's life. You're very young to have learned so much. Oh, I learned it all from a master of intrigue. The great Cellini. Now, see here, something has to be done about this man. He's the terror of Florence. With your permission, my lord, I have done something about him. Yes? What? I've married him. Married? <laughs> married Cellini? You, you don't mean it. Oh, you don't mean it. Well, what is so funny about marriage? <laughs> this I am going to enjoy watching. Great jumping grasshoppers. I'm glad I didn't marry you. Cellini married. Now, see here, I, I like being married. <laughs> Joke or not, I'll cut your ears off if you don't stop that laughing. <laughs> Tell me, what's the address of that dancing girl? Piazza Giovanni. <laughs> Forty-three. Thank you. Goodbye, my friends, and may all your troubles be little donkeys. A little one. The old clown. Stop that infernal laughing. Angela, I love you. And I will love you for 60 years and 160 and 1,060. And I want 60 little girls that look just like you. 60? That's quite a few little girls. Will you settle for six? I'll settle for you. Oh, darling, you have me. But as for the little girls, you'll have to keep your fingers crossed. Oh, not I. With a fine piece of silver on my anvil and the Duke smiling at me and the city of Florence at my feet and you in my arms, there's nothing I can't accomplish. I am Cellini. Folks, when you start sniffling and sneezing these early fall days, it's usually a sign that you've got a head cold coming on, and you'd better do something about it right away. One quick way to relieve your distress is with Vicks Vatronol, the special double-duty nose drops. This fine, specialized medication goes to work right where trouble is the moment you put a few drops in each nostril. You can feel Vatronol start bringing grand relief. It makes breathing easier as it reduces swollen membranes and opens up the nasal passages. Yes, it's sensible, friends, to keep a bottle of Vatronol handy so you can use it quick when a head cold strikes. And remember, it helps prevent many colds from developing if used in time. Follow directions in the folder. Vicks Vatronol Nose Drops. I am Adventure. Next week, come with me to early Baltimore. Meet a man whose entire life was a strange, dark adventure, but whose life was also one of the most beautiful romances of all time. Learn about him in The Shadow of the Raven. Until next week, then, I am dangerously yours. Our script was written by Gene Holloway from the play The Firebrand. Dangerously Yours was directed by Richard Sandville. Music for the series is under the direction of Mark Warno. Angela was played by Joan Tetzel. The Duke was played by Kermit Murdoch. Be sure to listen again next week when Dangerously Yours presents The Shadow of the Raven, starring Victor Jory. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs> 